We have a strange, sad, and unsolved true mystery for you today. It is a mystery about five boys and what happened to them. They are known as the Frog Boys. Our story begins when the boys decided to spend the day catching frogs in the stream of Mount Waryong, South Korea on March 26, 1991. It was a national holiday, so they did not have to go to school. They never returned to their homes. Their remains were found 11 years later, in September of 2002. A massive manhunt followed after the boys didn't come home. National newscasts kept the country up to date. Volunteers joined police to help try and find the boys. Over 8 million flyers were distributed all over the country and a reward of four, 42 million won or $35,000 was promised to anybody who could locate the boys. Some of the frog boys' parents became so determined to find their sons that they quit their jobs so they could devote all their time to searching. Authorities received over 550 false leads, and at one point, a man called police and lied that he had abducted the frog boys. I have kidnapped the boys for an exchange of ransom, and they are dying of malnutrition, he said in one of the phone calls. The area where they were said to go, Mount Waryong, was searched many times, and yet it is exactly there that they were found. The children were found in an area they knew well. They were only 3.5 kilometers away from their homes. The case went nowhere until September 26, 2002, when a man looking for acorns in Mount Waryong found scattered pieces of children's shoes and clothing. He called the police and after they searched the mountainside, found all five of the bodies of the frog boys in a shallow pit. At first police suspected that the boys had froze to death. It was cold and rainy that day, the day they went missing, and the boys might have gotten lost. The fact that their bodies were so close together might have meant they tried to huddle for warmth. Though it cannot be proved that the boys were murdered exactly where they were found, it cannot be proved that their remains were not hidden somewhere else first. It cannot even be proved that they were all killed at once in one violent session, or that they were killed one by one over a period of time. The number of persons involved is also unknown. They were found in a huddling position, maybe to mislead the police. The huddling position did make them think at first that the boys got lost and died of hypothermia. The five boys were all laid to rest finally on March 25, 2004. Their families donated their skulls to medical science for research, and maybe too in hopes to find out more about the trauma their children's skulls went through, and that their children went through. Experts found two bullet holes in one child's skull. Three of the five skulls had blunt force trauma. Is it possible that they were hit unconscious with an object like a tool? What kind of object? What kind of tool? Who welded it and why? That is the mystery. The three skulls were caved in and showed a number of sharp crack holes, the investigators said. Police found a five centimeter long loaded shell and two one centimeter long empty shells near the scene. They sent them to a lab to find out if they were related to this case. Some question why the boys had taken off their clothes. It is very hard to have a definitive, definitive answer as to whether the boys willingly undressed themselves or whether they were forced to. No further developments had taken place since the boys' aut autopsy in 2002. According to then South Korean law, 
the statute of limitations expired 15 years after the crime, so in 2006. This meant that even if the prosecution found answers, they could not bring the suspect to trial. In 2015, however, South Korea removed that obstacle, paving way for further investigations in infamous cold cases. During the investigation, police followed many leads and tips. Some were obviously false, some reported sightings, and some people even confessed. Police began an in investigation into a call made to a daily newspaper a day before the bodies were found. The paper reported that a man said, you will find the remains of the five frog boys in Mount Waryong. This man gave the location before the remains were found. Did the boys accidentally stumble upon someone who killed them? Meaning, was it random murder? Was it premeditated murder? Where is this person, or persons, now? To date, we do not know. Rest in peace.